Hey everybody, Wayne here. I'm excited about today's unboxing video. Um, this game was actually, well, it was just released. Um, it was not announced that long ago though, maybe a month ago. So it was almost like one of those stealth games in development and uh, not a lot of people I think knew about it. And uh, here we already have it on our table. So this is The Devil's to Pay, first day at Gettysburg. There's a lot of cool things I like about this. First of all, it's kind of a fun little thing. It's from Tiny Battle Publishing which they have always done uh, folio games. You know, they come in like the plastic uh, the plastic bag, Ziploc bag or whatever. Um, this is their first box game. Secondly, so this game is not just any old Civil War game, even though that would be enough for me. Um, this is actually, where does it say? Hopefully it says it somewhere. Well, it's designed by Herman Lutman. And what this is is, and the font's a little, a little hard to read in the back here. The Devil's to Pay is a new version of the Blind Sword system, emphasizing ease of play, accessibility, and chaotic historicity. Historicity? Historicity, I assume. Or utilizing a unique chip hole mechanic that will keep players on their toes. Herman Lutman Design, played in a gorgeous map drawn by Rick Barber. Units are multi counter brigades, with each straight point representing about 100 men. And these brigades are organizing groups of regiments as they're deployed at the battle. Very cool. So, we're going to almost have to check this out. But what this is, is another, this is a simpler blind sword system. So I have, um, I think they're, I believe they're, it's most, my most popular video. Um, I haven't checked lately. But my uh, video on long street attacks and the blind sword system, I believe my tutorial video on that is my most popular video, um, my highest number of views. So hopefully um, you guys are also going to enjoy checking this game out. I'm definitely going to investigate this more than just unboxing. But let's dig in right now. Bad boy up. Let's see what we got in here. All right, here's plastic. Here we go. Smaller box. Um, it's not a full size game, full size box game. Which I believe, and it's, I think we looked. Yeah, it doesn't really have a list of the components on the back here. You know, I like to get on the components. It's, it's got a great picture there, but. All right, let's just dig in though. Open her up. All right, so we get our dice. Red, white, and black. Rule book. Now, there's, I like to look at the page count, but um, hopefully you can tell, this is a smaller rule book, right? The box is smaller size, it's not a full, it's almost like a half box. Um, the rule book is, is like a half page rule book. Or this would be, you know, full page size, but it's not quite. So even though it is, let's see at the end here, listed as 35 pages, I mean, it's not exactly a 35 page rule book in a sense that, oh my God, it's filled with rules. Because that'd be bigger than the original or regular blind sword system games. Well, it's not, it's not that large. So I like, I've already looked at the rule book, the PDF, as I like to do. It's very, I think it's a very good rule book. Very nice. Um, lot, you know, it's full color here, as you can see. Um, you can see the counters there look great. Great description of the counters, all the info you need getting down into the sequence of play, lots of examples. So you can see it'll have the text and then it'll tell you kind of something going on. And then you have explains and then you have example example. So like I said, I can already, I already know I really like the rule book just cause I looked at it already. Picture examples, text examples, fire combat example. Look at all this, love, love it. Love full color examples, love pictures. That just gets people into your game. And if they're not frustrated, if they're gonna be able to get into it easy and play it, they're gonna enjoy it and they're gonna tell other people. More places, more war game um, publishers need to do this. So, all right, we got here. Okay, looks like we have two half counter sheets. So you can see, obviously the uh, Obviously the Confederates here. Oh, I was blanking on the word. Very nice. Looks like my counter sheet may be, it's hard to, like slightly miscut. Like, 
Not, not like it's going to stop me from playing it, but it looks like everything is shifted a little bit to the right. Yeah, I mean, I can see all the details on everything, so I'm not really overly worried. But you can see the artwork on there. Really nice. I like the fact that it's... You know, I love the original, or I keep saying the original. The sort of uh, full blind swords where it's it's the state outline. I do like that. It's classic. It's, it looks really good on the table. It's easy to tell everything apart. These are definitely busier. I'm sure they're going to be busier on the table, but at the same time, hopefully you guys can see how nice that is and how cool that looks to see, you know, the men running and the men in formation, the artillery, things like that. So, yeah, as you can see, mine maybe is cut a little bit to the side. There's a little extra space on the left of the counters, and on the right, it's like right over here. You can see they're kind of, the stars are partially cut off. Um, I can still see what's going on, but um, yeah, there's just, it's just not cut 100% straight. Um, markers for the events that happen, shaken markers. Right, let's go on to, looks like you have said the other, the other one, the other counter sheet. Um, union here. This one looks like it may be cut um, better than the first one. Yeah, I think my Confederate one is a little off. Just like I said, a little. You can... Still see all the details on the counter, so I don't, it shouldn't impact gameplay at all. And then here's the Confederates, or here's the Union, excuse me. Very cool. All the uh, activation shits. Look at the back of them. Very nice. Let's look at the back of the Rebels as well. Look at the back of the Confederates. Very cool. Yep, I like them. Seeing a little bit of glare on the camera. Sorry about that. But for the most part, I think it looks pretty good. All right, what else we got in here? All right, so we have our... Uh, we'll save the map for last. I'll get that set up so we can look at it in all of its glory. Order of Battle. For the Union, Order of Battle, Confederate, Confederate Player Aid, very nice. Sequence play, Fog of War, Command Table, Orders, Rally, Break Test, Panic Test, very nice. On the back is, oh, their event chits. Yep, I love that. Union Player Aid, same deal. Sequence play, Fog of War, Command Table, all that good stuff. Event, the Union event shits on the back. Oh, rules for movement and stacking on the bottom there. And then a uh, combat results table. And then all the cohesion tests and all that, all that good stuff. Weapon ranges, fire combat column shifts, assault combat results matrix. Looks good, full color. Decent thickness, not, not super thick, but they'll stand up, they'll work. All right, let's pause while I get the map set up. As you can see, another beautiful map from Rick Barber. Um, really enjoy his work. Really enjoy what he did in uh, Longstreet Attacks um, and the other Blind Swords games. As you can see, he continues to just have fantastic um, work here. Let's go ahead and take the camera off the mount here, and we're going to take a little closer look at the map. Devils to pay. Gettysburg. Roads, woods. See elevation changes. Names on everything. The turn track with the times on the corner here. Yeah, this is. Really nice, as as expected. This is pretty much what I expected. So, um, if you like Rick Barber maps, you're gonna love this one. Very cool. All right, that is the Devils to Pay, the first day at Gettysburg, from Tiny Battle Publishing. I cannot wait to check this one out. Um, I'm sure I'll do some videos on it. I'm sure I'll do at least tutorial video, maybe playthrough video. Um, just, uh, seeing what the game is like. It is a simpler, um, allegedly a simpler 
version of blind swords, which I would say blind swords, the normal system is probably a heavy medium. I think I've said that before, at least in my mind, it is not super easy to get into, but once you do, the payoff is well worth it. Um, maybe this game and this version of the system will be that much easier to get into. So we're going to have even more people able to enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed the video till next time.